shining star is where we are in Sunrise, Florida. The Suntan All-Star Game about to get underway. As they run to the top of the stretch, still in front, Carlin Clan, he found another gear. Sarah Shaman is there second, Jesso is at the rail. Jamestown fans out, Lucky Lucky Luke and Mutawat on the grandstand side. Who do you like here? They're across the course and swarming in. Now with a good late kick, King's Fortune rising to the occasion and King's Fortune takes the lead. King's Fortune and Irad Ortiz win. Jesso was... Talk less, work more, has had a very easy lead throughout. Doc Adams being hard ridden in second. Big Talker, three off the pace in third. They turn for home. Talk less, work more, trying to fend off the bid from Doc Adams, who's within a length second. Big Talker swings to the far outside. There's an eighth of a mile to run. Talk less, work more, and Doc Adams are head and head. Talk less, work more on the inside. Doc Adams within a head, trying to push by and does now. And Doc Adams in a hard fought decision under Ramon Vasquez wins a length and a half. Two back to Major Dude. The favorites are third and fourth. Suzak's underway from last. He's had plenty of pace ahead of him as they straighten for the drive. It's Dude in Colorado in front. Taking aim as candidate up on the outside. Major Dude. Suzak wheels to the far outside with an eighth of a mile to go. Major Dude down the center. Tries to shift ground and take the lead from Dude in Colorado and from between candidate. It's Major Dude to win the Kitten's Joy going away. Major Dude does it. Se The trailer is Cairo Consort as they run to the top of the stretch. Less than a quarter of a mile to come. From between horses, it's Malimu. Three wide, Alpha Bella fighting back at the rail. Sweet Lose got aces. Sweet Lose got aces, still has the lead. From the outside, and Alpha Bella takes aim at a big price. Late run from Cairo Consort up the fence in metaphysical. Final 16th of a mile. Look at Cairo Consort. Cairo Consort, a much the best winner of They're at the top of the stretch. The opening half was 45 and 4. Luis Saez asking red carpet ready to kick away. And she's doing just that with an eighth of a mile to go. Undervalued asset is second and atomically is down the stand side. But with a 16th to go, red carpet ready indeed. She's looking good. She wins by three in the end. Undervalued asset. fun to dream looking for racing room now she just goes by Anacapa at the quarter pole and a long way back to Angel Nadeshiko awake at midnight gets the jump on the favorite fun to dream who's won from the outside samurai charm fights on doggedly and here's fun to dream kicking into high gear at the eighth pole it's awake at midnight and fun to dream fun to dream runs right by and fun to dream another graded stakes victory wins the Santa Monica by two and a half convincing lengths. And still trailing the field here is Gobot. They come for home now. Jack Hammer goes up to engage with Mark's promise and sticks ahead in front. Jack Hammer now getting the lead at the top of the lane. It's Mark's promise going to have to fight back. It's these two and they come together in the upper stretch. A dramatic contact there as they turn for home. But Jack Hammer comes away with the lead. Mark's promise is fighting back with every stride. But Jack Hammer and Ray Gutierrez go on to win. Second here went to Mark's Promise. A ways back then to...
they turned for home. Free like a girl is starting to get away. Three quarters in 114.78. Free like a girl opens up by three and a half lengths. AG Charlotte is trying hard in second. Winning romance is third. And from there, it's final quest. But they're into the stretch. And free like a girl now has to hold off winning romance. Who's coming on with every stride. Here comes winning romance right at free like a girl. But free like a girl wins the distance. Overcharge is back in the pack early. Down on the inside is Drop Dead Sexy, and then it's quite a ways back to the early trailer who is Spirited Beauty. They go on to the far turn now, and up front, Wild Mallory has a head in front. Up and on the outside, Snowball is trying to get closer. Ooh, in tight there was Overcharge. Overcharge had to put the brakes on. Running in fourth, now trying to move up to third position here. She's got her work cut out for her. They went a quarter in 22.04, and we have two up front. Wild Mallory along the inside, Snowball to the outside. Here comes Overcharge, but a lot of ground to make up, and the stretch at Delta down. Snowball comes away with the lead. It's Snowball in front by nearly four. Overcharge is trying hard in second. Here comes the big favorite on the outside. It's Overcharge on the outside. Snowball to the inside. Overcharge and Snowball. They field starts to contract now. It's another eight links back to Behemoth Star. That one's followed by Lang's Day getting underway. At the back here is Jimmy's a star. Running in the money is the trailer. There goes Touch Upon a Star. Now accelerating to the lead. Three quarters and one. 12.89. They're two and a half links clear of Highland Creek in second to the outside. That's balling on a budget third. Late run coming from Behemoth Star is getting involved now as they turn for home. It's Touch Upon a Star and Tim Thornton. Now the sprint for home begins. Highland Creek is in second. Late run coming from Behemoth Star and on the outside balling on a budget. They are not going to get to touch upon a star who wins the championship.
Those two playing mini sticks in Sidney Crosby's first ever All-Star game, and they're stealing the show this time. Thank you.